Hello there. My 28 days was up yesterday, but I'm doing one more week with my challengers because last week we had a little uh, hiccup, big hiccup for some. Um, more inconvenience for me, but for some they lost everything. So, um, and during all of that time, I didn't prepare very well, so I didn't eat very well. So I'm using this last week. So today's 29 of 28 days <laughs> and I'm going to finish my week off. So Monday I'll do my pictures and then I'm working on our next challenge. It starts September 7th. So if you're ready to, um, eat healthy, clear your mind, just get yourself, you know, back on some kind of track. Um, it's better to plan and prepare. I did realize that. Um, and I'm doing that this week. So day two of that. Um, we can always start over, as you know. So um, workouts are really, really tough right now this week at our gym. And with Shred to Fit, um, we're all doing it this week. Um, it's insanity. So if you haven't seen our videos or anybody posting about it, um, really training hard. But I can already see with just everything that we've been doing. You cannot eat bad when you do workouts like this because you need the, that good food to strengthen you. But my lunch today was so good I forgot to take a picture of it. I'm actually going to do a little video of me cooking. Not even cooking. I didn't have to cook today. I just had to put it all together. Um, just a chicken salad. It was so good though. And all the ingredients, every single ingredient in it is good for you. And it was delicious. So, And it's super easy to make. So I want you all to know when you do our challenges... It's not very hard to prep your stuff. It's everything is conveniently made. Also, whether you're vegan, whether you're you know keto, whatever, you can tailor our, all of our meal plans. I give you a swap list. So that swap list, if you're not into red meat or if you want to eat you know vegan, you can swap out those proteins for whatever protein you want. And there's a there's a list, even vegetables we categorize all the vegetables so if you don't want this vegetable you can swap it for something else so you can truly tailor our uh, meals to your liking and still get the great results nutrition wise as far and as far as weight wise um, you can tailor it to yourself men you get to eat a little bit more because you guys need a little bit more so everything is tailored to your liking because the goal is not just to lose weight but to sustain so, so that you can live this way. I've been living this way for a while, so when I fall off, it's not a tragedy. I know how to get myself back on, and I don't allow myself more and more and more days till it downward spirals. But even then, it's never too late to, to recharge and get back into it. So let me know if you have any questions. I um, hope you're having a great day. So like I said, this is 29 of 28, but I'll just make it 28 of 28 on Monday with my pictures. I'm staying focused, motivated. And we still have a little smoke around here, but we're not letting it stop us. We're working out, we're getting our stuff done, and um, we can just keep persevering with a positive mindset. Just keep the positive mindset. I'm doing this gratitude, mindfulness, masterclass, and calm. And even when all the chips are up against us, it's our attitude. It's our attitude and how we see things, and that's how we can move forward. So keep the positivity going all the nastiness and ugliness that gets spread out there. I'm just snoozing y'all just so you know. <laughs> I don't want to see it. I definitely want to educate myself. I definitely want to see why people behave the way they behave or why they're angry. You know, I want to find solutions. I'm definitely proactive, but just spreading nastiness around. Um, it just doesn't help anyone. So if you have a solution, if you're trying to like make the world a better place and you've got ideas, let's hear them. But just posting nasty things and not having any way to like find a solution it's just a waste of time we are all educated and smart enough to know what we want and know what we're doing compassion and being empathetic is so important as well as being knowledgeable and trying to be proactive so try to be mindful of that all right y'all have a wonderful day Goodbye.